Hey guys, I just thought I'd uh, take you along for a ride here um, down my street. Now we are a little bit far out, but there's usually water in here. This is how dry the plains are. If you look way out there, there's what's left of the water that was in here. Grass this color this time of the year here is not usual. Look how dry everything is out on the plains. The grass is brown. Show you the other side. Usually in here guys there's water and we usually have swans swimming um, here. This is one of the driest summers on record. There is no rain in our forecast and when there is there's only about a 30% chance of rain. It's awful. And this is why crops aren't growing. We cross the road, the road is nothing but dust. And when you go out to the other side, look at these fields. It's bad. And this is why the crops aren't growing. No rain. So I thought I'd share that with you on my drive today. It's a really quick video. I just wanted you to see that when they say that it's dry, and that our crops are failing out here. Um, they aren't kidding. And in here, going, we're just actually going down my road, but in here we've begun clear cutting for wildfires. We've begun cutting the brush back the roads because we're now in a provincial emergency for extremely high wildfire uh, possibilities here. So guys, it is dry and it's bad. This is the worst I've ever seen it. So just wanted to share with you how dry it is. And uh, like I said, we only have like a 30% chance of rain. So I'm not thinking that's going to happen anytime soon. And as I get home, here is the dirt outside my truck. Nothing is going to grow in this. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to share that with you that, uh, you know, the fire risk is high here and the dirt is extremely dry and nothing, nothing is growing. And this is where greenhousing and high tunneling and raised bed gardening all come in handy because commercial crops are in trouble. See you soon.